Hi folks, uh, this one is on Patreon. Uh, still water. I've kept it simple. I've a very simple sky. And when you do your sky, well, the way I paint anyway, wet in wet, <coughs> I just put, put the paint on, let it run, and then dry it with a hairdryer. And leave it alone. This is on the Saunders Waterford paper. A beautiful paper. Uh, it's the cold press, so you have to work a little bit hard to get the paint out of the brush. But uh, I quite like this one. I, the problem w w is with um, wet in wet is that you overwork it at the wrong time. When the paint, when the, the painting starts to dry, or the the surface water water starts to lose its shine, that's when it's fatal, critical. If you start mucking about with it then, then you've ruined your painting and it'll do for an oil painting or acrylic. Uh, but I but I helped this on with, with the hairdryer. Put a bit of foreground in, island, smaller island, distant, more distant because of the colour. Uh, background was alizarin and ultramarine and just this blue-green distance just to give it that aerial perspective. But quite an uncluttered uh, scene. Uh, keep it simple stupid I tell myself and I don't always follow my own advice but anyway the idea of putting birds in the sky it links the sky to the to, to the, the detailed area should I say so it's not floating on its own we've got solid here and we've got solid in the sky a bit of solid in the sky that's all I can say about that anyway I hope you like it enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you soon thanks for watching bye bye